Hi everyone, it's Paulie for General Gaming's Trending Video Game News. And in this week, we look at five new releases coming out in February and March. Alright everyone, we hope you've had a great January. There's been a lot on in gaming so far. The links for today's videos can be found in the description section below. And also, if you liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start with number five. Monster Hunter World will be released on the 26th of January. And when this video is out, it'll be available for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This marks a new era for Capcom's beloved long-running action series Monster Hunter. This game trades its normal handheld portability for exceedingly shiny graphics, refreshing the co-op, third-person hunts, and the modern market. This new Monster Hunter has you pursuing some very big game. Think dinosaurs and dragons as you lurk through tropical jungles and conceal your approach using foliage-based camouflage. It's all in the name of fancy armor, outlandishly large weaponry, and a new grappling hook. Okay, next we've got the Shadow of Colossus. Now this is available on PlayStation 4 only and it comes out on the 6th of February. Spruced up remasters are commonplace these days, but Shadow of Colossus on the PS4 stands out for the sheer significance of the original game. Often ranked as one of the best games ever made, this sweeping action adventure follows the lonely quest of Wanda and his trusted steed Argo as they take down the gargantuan stone beings who roam the land. If you remember this game from the PlayStation 2, there's been vast improvements uh, from completely new textures, uh, new models, and uh, hopefully the PS4 version will retain a lot of the magic of the PS2 original. Next, we've got Sea of Thieves. Now this comes out on Xbox One and PC on the 20th of March, so some time away. Who doesn't like Pirates? Trailer was released almost two years ago. Sea of Pirates is a first-person, pirating, family fun, cooperative game. It encourages crewmates to collaborate for the pursuit of treasure. Competitive types can also rule the seas by battling and ideally sinking other players' ships. This is a huge one. On March the 7th, Final Fantasy XV or XV in Roman numerals will finally be out on PC. And the Royal Edition will be available on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If you haven't already purchased the game, I encourage you to get it now. It's got 4K graphics, there's a wealth of bonus content, and uh, you can really experience Final Fantasy. It allows you to experience Final Fantasy like never before. Okay, this week's number one is Far Cry 5. Released on the 27th of March, it'll be available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Far Cry 5 won't take place in some exotic, far-off region or ancient history, such as in Far Cry Primal. Far Cry 5 is bringing first-person shooter mayhem to the US of A. In Far Cry 5, you play a character of the deputy sheriff in Hope County. You'll need to get all the townspeople together to take down Eden, Eden's Gate. As with Far Cry 4, there are a lot of vicious takedowns, new moves, dog fights, amazing animal companions and weaponry, just to name a few of the new additions. Now, Far Cry 4 was one of the biggest games ever, and it's gonna be hard for Far Cry 5 to top it. What do you think? All right, guys, that's this week's trending news stories in video gaming. Before you go, I wanna remind you to check out our new shows, Game Talk, which is a discussion about gaming-related subjects, and our General Gaming Challenge series will be returning in the next couple of weeks. Once again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. As always, have a lag-free day.